Wow! This is a culmination of a lot of hard work. You guys are making this night. I am so happy you're all here. Can you believe we sold it out so we gotta do another show tomorrow? I'm not gonna talk too much right now because I think you guys wanna hear some music, right? Don't feel your love tonight. We're getting funny in the back of my car. I'm sorry, honey, if I took it just a little too far. Yes. Too, too far. So I, I told the fellas out behind the bar. So I didn't tell you, honey, just how fine you are. Yes. Yes, you are. gentlemen give it up for the greatest guitar player and I will argue this until I my last breath the greatest guitar player of all time Mr. Edward Van Halen yeah, yeah this is kind of fun huh everybody show me your hands get those hands in the air if you love Edward Van Halen You know, it was um, Ed Edward's passing. Who cried? Get your, get, your, get your fucking hands up. Who cried? I cried. I cried for five straight days. I realized that Eddie wasn't just my guitar hero. Because he really, Van Halen was a soundtrack of my youth. Was it the soundtrack of your youth too? Right? I mean, what a first. I am sure I kissed a lady when Van Halen was playing on my stereo. My sound design stereo. With my incense burning, right? Okay. No, but seriously, I realized, and as the days went on, and I was, of course, I was mourning, I was playing Van Halen, we were all mourning, right? Wolfgang, Valerie, his, his new wife, they were all mourning, right? And I realized he wasn't just my guitar hero. He was my, he was my brother. 
He was my babysitter. He was my dad. He was a guy I got high with. He was a guy I got drunk with. He's a guy I listened to when life was really tough as a seventh and eighth grader, right? When you're going through it and you feel like you're all alone. And Van Halen was my salve, baby. It was medicine. And uh, when he passed away, it shocked me that nobody did anything for his passing. I truly, I think they finally did something small in, in LA, but this, people, this is special right now. And so many of you sacrificed to be here, and you're here with me, and guess what? Ed's birthday was Thursday. Mine was Monday or Tuesday. And uh, what a great birthday present to celebrate this around Edward's Van, Edward Van Halen's birthday. So we got a great night of music for you. Cracking ice cold beer. What was it, what they drink? Schlitz Malt Liquor Bowl, right? Isn't that what they have? Do we have Schlitz Malt Liquor Bowl back there? I don't think so. Didn't have JFK then. We're gonna have some fun tonight though here. Oh, so check yes. this out. In 1981, Jeff Thomas and I talked my cousin into taking us. We were in the eighth grade and we went to see Van Halen the second night at Memorial Coliseum on the Fair Warning Tour. Arguably their best record at their peak. Well, my good friend Jerry Friesen here, he was at 1984, just a couple years later. Edward Van Halen played Unchained on this very pick right here. You tapped his foot and Eddie, he gave you, gave you this pick. He played half of Unchained on this song. No one has played guitar with this pick since then. I promise not to destroy it. And I'm going to give it right back to you when this is done. This is really fucking cool, man. So I think it's fitting that we play... Unchained! goodness you guys are amazing uh, so we all have our favorite Van Halen songs right 
There is one that feels more like California to me than any other song. It is also, this, I hope this doesn't sound like a buzzkill, but it is the song I want played at my celebration for life. I don't want to, how, I don't want to hear how great thou art. I don't want to hear, you know, Jesus love. I want to hear, dancing out of way, baby. <laughs> I gotta say, this doesn't suck at all. Woo! Hey, say hello to Mike Lowry on the drums. <laughs> say hello to Mr. Jose Cuervo. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Hey, cheers everybody. Hey, one more time to add, to add. Stick those glasses in the air. To Edward. Edward Wolfgang Van Halen. I'll drink to that. Everybody does want some, and I want some too. You're gonna get some a little later. <laughs> okay. So like an idiot, I stole my sister. Well, I wasn't an idiot for stealing my sister's Van Halen album, right? First Van Halen record. I was uh, sixth grade. She won, I think she won in a contest. Yeah, Van Halen won, took it home. My mind was blown. The first time I heard Running With The Devil, Eruption, You Really Got Me, I'm The One, Atomic Punk, right? For a freaking year, I never flipped the album over and listened to the other side. I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. Look, I'm 12. I can't even count. I did. And one of my all-time favorite songs, Feel Your Love Tonight, was on there, but also songs about a girl named Jamie. And Jamie's crying. Oh, come on. 
on, you gotta sing along to this one. Come on. Guitar. I'm really Smoking. enjoying this guitar. This is uh, this is Ron Minzer's beautiful, beautiful Frankenstrat. I was gonna play the Bumblebee, but I'm gonna play this for one more. Okay, listen. There's some little audience participation in this song. It's pretty obvious what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good time tonight. I've been flashed. <laughs> Yeah, you may 
bass guitar. Thank you very much. I'm done for the night. All right, I would like to welcome up Mr. Eric Banke on the bass guitar and Mr. Bart Barkak.